In this video, I'll show you how I add these gorgeous vibrant colors to some little pops. Ding, 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 ding. Hi everyone. <laughs> I hope you like that music. <laughs> I just realized that I had taken all the sound out of the video and then I lost my music as well for my intro. So there you go. That's my version. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so what I've got here is um, lots of my paints were all over the table, as you saw there. And that's because I'm getting really low on paints. So I need to use up everything I have left in my bottles so that I can wash them out and add in some fresh paint. Um, so I had some of them laying down on their side so that all the paint could come down to the side and then when I need to tip it up it doesn't have as far to travel um, and then I mean I knew that I actually wouldn't need a lot of paint to do this but at the same time it is a good way to use up you know small amounts of paint while adding just creating and making beautiful little uh, wisps of color and and whatnot in these little pops so that's what they look like fully popped out and they go on the back of your phone as a stand or something to hook your fingers into and I actually love mine um, so I use it all the time <laughs> so so it's just doing the dip style into these little puddles so you can see in those puddles there's not a lot of paint there but you give it a little twist and pull it up and they look stunning i'm so happy with how they turned out so this one here purple and green and white it just didn't play the game so <laughs> um i put that off to the side and wiped it over to to re-dip um yeah i'm sorry the camera does keep going in and out of focus i think that was due to having such a small item so I'm trying to bring it into the camera to show you but then it doesn't refocus back on the paint on the table so a couple of bits with that I tried to crop out as much unnecessary out of focus as possible um, but I do keep trying to come back to it and refocus it so I've done several little pops here now so you, I'm, I'm sure you've got the gist. It's create a little puddle, pop it in, give a little bit of a twist and tilt on the way up, and you got a beautiful little pop of colour. So just trying to, I was also, I, I thought I had a lot until I looked at them and went, gee, I don't really have that many. <laughs> Um, so I thought I'd really better try and get a quite a varying amount of colors. So just adding paints that I think might contrast nicely or complement and then scooping them in together like here now gives me a whole rainbow of colors come out when you actually lift it up. So that looks gorgeous. Sorry, I do have a little bit of neighbour background, so I hope that's not too bad. Here we go. So I'll just scrape this aside, wipe it up and do a couple more colours. This is at that point where I thought, oh, I need something a little darker. Like I tend to go a lot for the brighter, more vibrant colours. But sometimes it's those darker colours that can really have an impact. So, so I've just put those down and now I'll push it back together and see how that goes. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm so happy with these. If you're enjoying this, please subscribe. And a little bell will pop up. If you click on that, 
to receive notifications of when new videos come out. So I'd appreciate it too if you would give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and share it with others who might also appreciate it. That would be fantastic. I'm on my way to 25,000 subscribers. So I would really like to achieve that by the end of the month, if possible. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so if you could help me with that, that would be fantastic. So just adding a bit of metallic in there. Just going for that simple black and gold. I didn't quite have, there was something about it that I wasn't really comfortable with at the time. So a re-dip for that one. And then a bit of a swirl with the stick again. That's just the end of a paintbrush. When I scooped over that little bit of paint there, I actually liked how it came out, which is why I dipped in there. And I thought, why not use some of this gold to try and add a little to it? And Beautiful. So that's how it looks. There we go. There's them all together. And they're great. They're amazing. They've dried beautifully. I'll just give them a nice spray varnish to go over the top. And they'll be right to go. So... It'll be tough choosing which one to keep. <laughs> but uh, And what I didn't see, sorry about that, is I just gave them a quick light torching just to clear out any bubbles. There was no silicon in the paints and it was my usual mixture of Atelier Pouring Medium and Floetrol mixed at equal parts with Creative Place paint. Thank you, everybody. You mean the world to me. Be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.